After hearing the evidence from our team of prosecutors, the grand jury voted to return an indictment against Detective Hankinson for three counts of wanton endangerment for wantonly placing the three individuals in apartment three in danger of serious physical injury or death. The charge of wanton endangerment in the first degree is a class D felony. And if found guilty, the accused can serve up to five years for each count. According to Kentucky law, the use of force by Mattingly and Cosgrove was justified to protect themselves. This justification bars us from pursuing criminal charges in Ms. Brianna Taylor's death. My job is to present the facts to the grand jury, and the grand jury then applies those facts to the law. If we simply act on emotion or outrage, there is no justice. Mob justice is not justice. Justice sought by violence is not justice. It just becomes revenge. Our reaction to the truth today says what kind of society we want to be. Do we really want the truth or do we want a truth that fits our narrative? Do we want the facts or are we content to blindly accept our own version of events? There will be celebrities, influencers, and activists who having never lived in Kentucky will try to tell us how to feel, suggesting they understand the facts of this case and that they know our community and the Commonwealth better than we do. But they don't. Let's not give in to their attempts to influence our thinking or capture our emotions. I urge those protesting on the streets to remember this. Peaceful protests are your right as an American citizen. Instigating violence and destruction are not.